Most recently, I feel like I'm still recovering. It's halfway through the year already, and I feel like I'm still recovering from being home with my family over the holidays. <laughs> <laughs> the week before this last Christmas, my mom was calling me every single day asking me if I'm coming home. Are you coming home for Christmas? I'm going, I'm coming, are you coming home for Christmas? Now, last Christmas was the first time I did not come home for the holidays in my entire life. I was home alone in Los Angeles for two weeks with no fiance, no family, and it was fucking awesome. <laughs> I woke up completely alone on Christmas Day. I poured myself a glass of wine and I was like, what next? So my mom was calling me leading up to the holidays and she's like, Tasha, are you coming home? Are you coming home? And I'm like, Mom, I don't know. Things have gotten complicated because flights from Los Angeles to Wisconsin right now are $750 but flights from Los Angeles to Paris are 400. <laughs> and she was like, what's in Paris? And I was like, not you. <laughs> Sounds amazing. <laughs> no, really, and I'm gonna be honest with you, really, I just wanted to go to Paris because I wanted to cheat on my fiance. And uh, I feel like you can do that in Paris. In Paris, you can cheat on anything. You can cheat on your diet, you can cheat on your relationship, and it doesn't count. Paris is the black hole of Europe. I had to take a wormhole from Prague to get there. I know this. Basically, I've never met a man named Pierre, but I feel like the rule of Pierre's is if you meet one, you get to fuck them. And uh, I was recently performing in Paris, and there was a man in the audience that reacted to that. And I was like, is your name Pierre? And he's like, no, but my friend is. <laughs> I go to his friend and I was like, it looks like your friend wants to volunteer you as tribute. <laughs> and he goes, oh, no, 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 I'm married. And then he slips off his ring and goes, but I am a Pierre. 